Assalamu alaikum students welcome to grade 5 science class today we are starting our science book this book butterfly science 5 now let's start with the cover page of this book what do you see happening here well you see doctors and you see these robots and do you know what is this this is a human being so what these machines are doing to this human being well these are robots and do you know what robots are doing they are doing an operation on a human being i don't know what exactly they're doing but it might be that they're removing some kind of cancer or some stones or doing some kind of stitching inside human body now how is that possible well this is science science has advanced ab robots jo hain unko computer pe bata diya jata hai ke unhone kya operation karna hai kidhar karna hai और फिर वो ऑपरेशन करते हैं और डॉक्टर्स जो हैं वो स्क्रीन के ऊपर बैठ के जैसे आप गेम्स खेलते हैं ना मोबाइल के ऊपर तो वैसे वो देख के रोबोट्स की मदद से ऑपरेशन करते हैं इन फ्यूचर ऑल ऑपरेशंस विल बी डन बाय रोबोट्स बाय डॉक्टर्स हु विल बी सिटिंग समवेयर एल्स तो डॉक्टर कहीं और बैठे होंगे और रोबोट्स इंसान की बॉडी में जा रहे होंगे और ऑपरेशन हो रहा होगा इस तरह ऑपरेशन करने से क्या फायदा होगा इसके दो फायदे होंगे पहला फायदा यह होगा कि जो रोबोट्स है ना वो गंदगी कम फैलाएंगे क्योंकि वो सांस नहीं लेते उनका थूक नहीं निकलता तो जब हम सांस लेते हैं तो हमें हमारे सांस के साथ जर्म्स बाहर निकलते हैं सो फॉर एग्जांपल अगर मैं डॉक्टर हूं और मुझे फ्लू हुआ है और मैं ऑपरेशन कर रहा हूं तो शायद मेरा ऑपरेशन तो कामयाब हो जाए लेकिन मेरा फ्लू जो है वो उस इंसान को लग जाए जिसका मैं ऑपरेशन कर रहा हूं लेकिन अगर मैं एक दूसरे कमरे में बैठ के स्क्रीन के ऊपर रोबोट्स की मदद से ऑपरेशन करूंगा तो फिर इंसान को मेरी बॉडी के जरासीम नहीं लगेंगे दिस इज वन बेनिफिट that patients will not be affected by my germs dusra fayda kya hai dusra fayda ye hai aap mere haath ko gaur se dekhe mere haath ki fingers ka ek specific size hai ye se chhota main nahi kar sakta to agar maine human body ke andar haath dal ke koi cheez nikalni hai ya koi cheez kaatni hai ya kisi cheez ko bandhna hai तो आई डोंट हैव मच स्पेस बिकॉज ह्यूमन बॉडी जो है उसको अल्लाह ताला ने बहुत कंपैक्ट बनाया है उसमें बहुत ज़्यादा जगह नहीं होती कि हम हार्ट डाल के वहाँ पे ऑपरेट कर सके वेल दैट्स नॉट द केस विद द रोबोट रोबोट का जो हेड है वो एक सुई जितना पतला भी हो सकता है उसके ऊपर जो नाइफ लगी है वो बहुत छोटी सी हो सकती है तो इट कैन गो enter deep into the human body and perform the procedure without making much damage to jab hum insaan operation karte hain to hame ek bahut bada cut lagana padta hai aur phir hum andar jate hain machines jo hoti hain wo bahut chhota sa cut laga ke andar chali jati hain so that's why operations of the future will be done by machines Now today we will be starting our first chapter which is its nanos world after all its title hai its nanos world after all well before we start this chapter we have to discuss some key words that come in this chapter what are those let's start with word in nano you know what nano means nano is a greek word which means very small very tiny minute so nano deals with things which are very small very small look at this so 
There are big things and then there are nano things, very small things. Now which things we would call nano? Well, when we come to atoms level, then those things will be called nano. So what is an atom? Atom is the basic structure of things. Inside an atom, there is a nucleus. And the nucleus has neutrons and protons. And outside the nucleus, there are electrons moving around in an orbit. So this is an atom. Now when two atoms join together, or three items join together, they form a molecule. So for example, the molecule of water has three atoms. Two of them are hydrogen atoms and one is oxygen. This is a water molecule. Two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen come together to make water molecule. Now we know that there is molecule when more atoms join together they make a molecule and we know an atom that atom is made of neutrons protons and electrons now there is subatomic level as well so what is subatomic level subatomic level is when we are dealing only with electrons or neutrons or protons then we are talking about subatomic level. Now this we are discussing right now electrons and neutrons and protons but believe me there are many other particles other than electrons and neutrons and protons and we will be talking about them later on in higher classes. So today we have come to know that nano world is the world where things are very small. They are at the level of molecules and atoms. We have come to know what atom is, what molecule is and what is known as subatomic level. Now you write the definitions that we have discussed today in your copy. Draw some molecules and some atoms and then send this work to your teacher and explain this work to your teacher when she calls you. Allah Hafiz.